Good morning, church family. It's Jordan, and I'm here with a Monday morning devotional video. Um, I am actually going to be starting kind of a series of devotional videos um, rather than sort of hopping around on different themes and things like that um, over the next uh, probably five to ten weeks. Um, and uh, just something that I feel like has been on my heart lately um, and I think accompanies what we're talking about in, in our Sunday morning services and what we'll be uh, uh, aiming for as part of our midweek services here in the fall. Um, uh, we've been talking about the matters of the heart on Sunday morning uh, and we'll be uh, continuing into some areas where uh, the church stands in conflict uh, with the world today and some of the areas where the church, uh, uh, the body of believers of the church are, are unsettled and perhaps in disagreement um, and uh, that'll be an upcoming sermon series and then uh, in midweek especially we're going to be putting a lot of emphasis on evangelism and on uh, making sure that we stay true uh, to our, our calling uh, as believers and as the family of Christ uh, and uh, being really focused on uh, being a witness and a light uh, to the people around us so that uh, all who are lost are, are given a chance to hear uh, the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ. So uh, that's going to be our midweek services in, in the, this fall. Um, that should be really, really encouraging and I think uh, hopefully a beneficial time for all of us. But um, so over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing um, my devotionals sort of on, on a series of topics uh, related to um, the why behind you um, or the why in you and really sort of trying to dial in on why you exist. Um, I think so much of where the world struggles today and I think the church struggles today and by the church I don't mean some big abstract uh, but I mean us uh, as a family of believers who are, are local to Graham Washington and, and whoever is watching online with us. Uh, part of the reason that I think we struggle so much with the world around us is a lack of, of clarity around uh, our purpose. Uh, purpose, when you have it, uh, gives you an anchor. Uh, you sort of know why you're here. You know uh, why the present is what it is, why your past is what it is. You know uh, why the future will be what it is. Uh, you are, are given uh, marching orders. You, you know what step to take next. Uh, you know how to respond in challenging situations. And ultimately, you know where you are destined to go. Um, and those are really valuable things for us as believers to have. And I think, again, a lot of the, the, the struggle that we face in the world around us today is, is tying back to a, a lack of clarity and a lack of focus and a lack of, of emphasis on our, our why. And so uh, over the next few weeks, we'll be, we'll be diving into different whys uh, behind you. Uh, and, and that'll be a, a recurring theme for, for the devotional videos this, uh, on Monday mornings here. Um, again, if you have a testimony uh, to share, if you have something you'd love to contribute, um, we have lots of other days of the week. I would love to have uh, different uh, members of our family sharing. Uh, so uh, just email me, jordan at cedarspringsnw.com. Uh, I feel like our church is, is much richer when we hear from uh, more members of this family. Uh, we had uh, Jake preaching uh, yesterday, uh, and real, an encouraging word, challenging word, a good word for us. Uh, we'll continue to, to have uh, different uh, voices uh, speaking to us, uh, and I would love to have you share your testimony, share a word that God's put on your heart uh, just in the coming week. So jordan at cedarspringsnw.com if you've got something on your heart, and we can work out the logistics of that. So um, let's pray, and we'll jump into the verse this morning, which is Isaiah 43, 7. Again, Isaiah 43, 7. So let's pray. Uh, God, we thank you uh, that you do have a purpose and a calling for each and every one of us. Um, and it's a clear purpose and it's a clear calling. It's not something that there's confusion around. It's not uh, something that has clouds or haze or, or uh, gray areas, uh, but that you have given us very clear directions as to why we exist, uh, what we are to do, uh, where we are going, and what ultimately we are, are being purposed for. In your name, uh, amen. Uh, so again, my verse this morning is Isaiah 43, 7. Uh, and so Isaiah 43, 7 reads, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. And so I, I want to emphasize that middle portion of that passage. Everyone who is called by my name, who I created for my glory, who I formed and made. Uh, the central focus for us, and, and we'll see this repeated just in the coming weeks, uh, for, for us as believers is we were created for God's glory. Uh, period. Full stop. Uh, there are other things that God calls us to which contribute to that, that contribute to the way that we show his glory, but we were created for his glory. Uh, in Genesis, we're told that we we're created in his image. We're created as image bearers. We're created as a, a portrait, a picture, a representation 
a statue, a living statue, if you will, a living piece of art, if you will, uh, for uh, God and as a representation in, in his creation. And, and, and frankly, all of creation uh, has been made to glorify him. And so now this seems like an abstract thing. Like uh, it's easy to sort of think about God's glory and think about it as being something that is sort of ill-defined. Uh, we sometimes use God's glory. We, we compare it to sort of a bright blinding light. I mean, something you can't even look at. So how can you put definition around it, right? Um, uh, I don't know if any of you remember when we had the, uh, uh, the, the eclipse and you could put on glasses and you could stare up at the, the sun and you could see the, the defined edges of, of the sun as, as the eclipse was occurring. And, um, and you could see definition to something that is otherwise sort of a hazy orb of light in the sky. And sometimes we, we think about God's glory in that same way. But the reality is, is that God's glory is a clear purpose for you and for how you should live. I guarantee you, if you sit down and you think about what you're going to do this morning and what you're going to do today, you think about how you interact with other people, if you think about what you're posting on social media, if you think about what you're worried about, um, think about how you're responding to the different situations that we have in the world around us, if you think about how you act in certain relationships, if you think about how you think about certain people, uh, if you think about uh, what you do with your free time, uh, if you think about what you are planning for uh, a year from now, five years from now, for 10 years from now, if you think about... Uh, your purpose is to glorify God, I guarantee you that it will provide immense clarity, sometimes scary clarity. Uh, it's something that I find myself immensely challenged by. I struggle with. I, I realize that I fall short of, we all fall short of the glory of God as another passage, which I think speaks to this. Um, and But the reality is, is that when we start to realize that you exist, the why behind you is to give glory to God. It really does clarify everything, and I don't mean that in a, in a little way. There are very few things uh, and very few instances where human beings can use absolutes in, in phrasing and sentences and how we talk and not be uh, dishonest or disingenuous when we say something is absolutely always or is, uh, uh, you know, is sort of using any of those, those, all, those uh, different absolutes that we have. But this is one of them. Uh, this is an absolute that you can apply to every aspect of your life, and you can think about that. You know, how you use your time, where your thoughts are focused, how you go about your work, how you go about relationships, how you approach uh, your spiritual life, how you approach uh, your devotional time, how you approach uh, uh, Sunday mornings even uh, at church. It, it changes everything, and it's changed everything in my life. Um, and many of you have, have seen me uh, grow in the last uh, decade um, as a believer and as a member of this church family. And it was this realization, uh, this purposing, this understanding of the why behind me that started to scare me at first because I realized I was stagnant, I realized I was lazy, I realized I was, I was indifferent to the things of God, even though I called myself a believer. Um, and it, it set me in motion, and it really did set a lot of things in motion in my life, and have ultimately led me to a lot of growth, um, and it's something that I have to reflect on, I have to challenge myself even today. So I hope it's challenging for you. I, I hope you start to think about uh, the why behind you. And I hope that you really do start to put some thought into uh, uh, how that impacts your life. Uh, and some of you are, are like me, you're, you're note takers, you're calendar people, uh, you like to sort of have things written down. One of the things that I did early is I started to evaluate uh, the different components of my life, the different things that I spent time on, the things that I had in my schedule. And I started to think about how they could uh, glorify God if they could at all. Because there are things that won't at all, but there are things that can be shaped and can be purposed to glorify God. And it was really challenging. Like I said, it really changed my perspective on how I was living. So I'd encourage you with all of, uh, encourage all of you with that. Um, and I hope that you do reflect on it. Um, if you have questions um, on, on that, uh, that topic, if you think about certain areas of your life where you're struggling uh, and you just don't understand how you can make it glorify God, maybe you'd like additional input, that's why the elders team exists. Uh, you can uh, email any one of us. It's just our first name at cedarspringsnw.com. Uh, you can email elders at cedarspringsnw.com to get the whole group. Again, you, you have my email. Uh, there are a hundred different ways to contact us, and we would love to talk with you. We'd love to counsel you, um, love to challenge you, um, and, and love to spend time with you just to sort of help you understand the why behind you in, in greater detail. Um, we love you all. I look forward to gathering with you uh, this coming weekend, and hope you all have a wonderful, blessed week. And hope that you begin to purpose uh, more clearly and more uh, particularly uh, your time and your energy and your thoughts and, and wh what you're doing with your, your relationships so that they do glorify God. Bye, everyone. Have a happy Monday.